it's true you are riding this blind at a pretty good pace. <laughs> I appreciate the affirmation. I'm Jeremy McGee. I teamed up with Chris Bernhardt of C2 Recreation. Dylan Van Wielden, a talented photographer, also joined us. Together, we toured some of the most iconic trails in the Willamette Valley area of Western Oregon. First stop, Silver Falls State Park. Cindy, you work with an organization called SEDA, SEDA, right? Salem Area Trail Alliance. We built the trails here, we maintain the trails, and we promote the trails. Cindy is our fearless trail leader. It is super important to me and to the recreation community that adaptive riders have places to come. We are touring some of the most iconic mountain bike trails in Western Oregon with Jeremy, and he's going to help us figure out how to make them more accessible to more riders. Easy money. For the route, our main objective was to climb Lookout Mountain Road and ride Catamount Trail, with some opportunities for extra credit. From the parking lot to the trailhead, Lookout Mountain Road is about four miles with 573 feet of ascent. It's an extremely mellow climb and over before you know it. The first opportunity for extra credit is a lollipop loop on Catamount Trail backside which is a fun addition to the route. On Trail Forks, Catamount Trail is separated into three sections. Catamount Trail Upper is machine built and all good, but Catamount Trail Mid is hand built with some potential challenges. Solo riders will need to bypass this section using Lookout Mountain Road. Catamount Trail Lower, like the upper section, is also machine built and free of any issues. For some extra credit, I highly recommend hitting Rabbit Hole. The climb out on 214 trail is wide open, but Rabbit Hole does have some significant off camber. For more extra credit, Newt Loop is how you access the skills section to improve your riding. So here's our route in its entirety, 13.3 miles total. We are at the top, 3.87 mile climb is what I have on my Strava. Feels so good to be outside. Smells so good. All right, this looks a little narrow, let's see. We're good. <laughs> All the gates in the area are 36 inches wide, so be sure to measure your bike before coming out. Slowing down just in case there's a hidden rock. You never know, dude. For a beginner rider, there's some, it's slightly off camber. Yeah, okay, that's good feedback. Some rocks, fun. Yeah. Data built a little return trail so you can lap that fun flow section. It's AMTB1 and well worth an extra lap or two. This is awesome. Other than the 36 inch gates, this switchback is the only potential challenge on Catamount backside. Be sure to consult the POIs on trail forks so you know when it's coming and can get your line set. Because of this down tree, I think this gate is slightly more narrow than 36 inches. Side note, I have custom machine hubs on my front wheels. If you have the same bike as me, I'm sorry to say it's probably too wide for these gates. Oh! Ooh, coming in hot to that thing. Got it. Nicely done. Gummies? What is Tropical it? Tropical fruit. God, you are precious. Would you like one? Yes, I please. Thank you. you. <laughs>
Again, the upper section of Catamount Trail is machine built and entirely AMTB1. The middle section is different. It is hand built and actually has some potential issues. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's a little, that's a spa right there, kinda. Send it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't ride it very well. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is sketchy. The potential challenges on this trail does not mean it's without some fun flow sections. It's true you are riding this blind at a pretty good pace. <laughs> I appreciate the affirmation. A rider and maybe a less capable equipment or without as much body lean or whatever might have some trouble. Uh, if someone in a front wheel drive bike is definitely gonna need help. Good pitch point here, but the ride around is nice and flat. I gotta lean my body way over to the side because otherwise if I stayed in the center, I would go right over. No problem. You're down. A series of four switchback turns present a potential challenge. You'll need to be able to multi-point turn on an incline and power up a technical route line. We are back to machine built trail with the final section of Catamount. Solo riders can ride this confidently. All right, we're riding rabbit hole and there are 13 turns. We're gonna count them. Yeah. Turn 13, we're counting down. 12, ah, 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 ah. 11, 10. <laughs> Which one is this? Eight. It's not too off camber, but I mean, for a lot of riders, it would be. I'm getting through it. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be careful. I don't see a side. Is that number seven? Number six is tight. <laughs> Ugh, a little sketchy. No. I'm good. Okay. Uh, Footing wise, it's better for you to stay on the trail. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! Yo, Greasy. You three. Get with me, class. Two. <laughs> One. You're good. All right, that was rabbit hole. That was super fun. Thanks for counting along. Now we gotta climb out of here. Here we go. Okay, so we're about to assess the skill section now, correct? Loop, loop area. Do I get to ride some rocks? There's some rocks? I yeah. think skills, I think like, is there any technical skills sections? Yeah, That's what uh, I we'll want. We'll find no? out. I can't remember. We'll find out. We'll find out. We made it, we didn't die. So this is the second skills loop here. 29 switchbacks. Oh, uh, just enough impact. All right, so there's two skills trails. Uh, the first one was uh, for kind of pumping and rolling and uh, I ate it, <laughs> but that's the purpose of a skills trail, I guess. I didn't have the skills for it. <laughs> and then the second was um, switchbacks, which is, yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. If you want to learn how to ride switchbacks, that's that's a good place to do it. Oh yeah, it is close. Um, 
It's barely. Yeah. Oh, I slid off of it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, they're they're a little too narrow. Wow. All right, so keep going this way. All right, there's green, blue, and black is over here. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. The black one's totally doable. I didn't ride the green or the blue ones, but I'm assuming those are more doable than the black one. Silver Falls State Park is well worth the trip. Great job, Seda, on making this area super fun to ride. Now, it's your turn. Put that phone down and go get your hug from Mother Nature. You are correct. Again? You are correct. Thank you. Rolling in my 5.0 with my rag top down, so hair can blow. Girlie's on standby, wait just to say hi. Did you stop? No, oh, I just rolled by. Whoa. Kept on pursuing to the next block. Then I continue to A1A. Beachfront Avenue. Girls are hot wearing less than bikinis. Rock them lovers driving like bikinis. Jealous, cause I'm out getting mine. Jay with the gauge and Ladilla with the nine. You, you look that? great. Thanks. You really do. We gotta figure out where we're going. Okay, we, we think we got it figured out. We think we know where the way we're going. GoPro, you don't want to see this. Stop recording. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I blow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Dance.